Hey Dennis, it is Wednesday, June 13th. I am sniffly and stuffed up and kind of sick, so this video might not be the best video and I look like poo poo, but I'll do what I can. I'd like to first apologize for this video being on Wednesday instead of Monday. Um, honestly, Monday was just kind of lazy and I kind of forgot and then by the time I was going to do it yesterday, I started feeling like crap and just, I couldn't do it. As you know, I attended Bonnaroo this last weekend, Thursday through Sunday. Uh, it was an incredible experience. Unfortunately, my phone doesn't like to record audio sometimes, so videos I recorded just didn't end up working. Uh, I wanted to put some up for you so you could see some of your favorite acts, but it just it didn't work out. Bonnaroo though was an amazing experience. Uh, I'm definitely going again next year. It was it was so good. Um, I've never really experienced anything like that before. Just like four straight days of just being around a ton of people and being around a ton of music. It was it was really awesome. Bonnaroo though I think was the reason I got sick. Uh, just not eating very well for four days, not getting a lot of sleep for four days, being in the sun, just all that. Just I think my body just wore down and. Uh, made me all ill and stuff. One cause for excitement though, um, I did get a job. I finally got a job. Panera Bread has decided that I would be a good employee for them and I actually start, I go in for like orientation on Friday and I start on Monday, uh, like training and all that. So my job search is over. Your tips that I had already used before worked and I'm now more employed than I was before. Since I started on Friday, I haven't had much to do since I got back from Bonner, so I've been watching a ton of the Euros, catching a lot of international soccer, which I love, um, but it's really got me thinking about a couple things. So there's all these countries with all these soccer players, and these men are the best at soccer in their country. Like, they're representing their country, they obviously went through a ton of trials and a ton of training, and they are the cream of the crop in their country. It really got me thinking about like how how good at something you have to be to be the best in your country. Like the talent level that you have to have to not even even in soccer like the Olympics are coming up too and it got me thinking as well like these people that are competing in the Olympics are the best in the world at a task at at something that they learned at some point. Like let's say you finish 10th at the Olympics in something random. Let's just say like shot put. You finish 10th. When you somebody looks at like the world rankings and like the medal situation at the Olympics, they're like, oh, he finished 10th. Well, that guy sucked. But he's the 10th best in the world at, a, at doing something. Like that's, that's ridiculous to think about. The billions of people that he is better than at something. And then you got people, there's like an 18 year old who's playing left back for the Netherlands right now. 18 years old. He just now is an adult in the United States, if he was in the United States. But, like, that's so young. And then there's Bryce Harper. He's a right fielder for the Washington Nationals, and he's only 19 years old. He's a year younger than me, and he is starting every day in, the, in Major League Baseball, in the highest level of baseball you can achieve. And honestly, like thinking about these players that are better at soccer than everyone in their country, and this 18-year-old who's playing, and this 19-year-old that's playing Major League Baseball, like it just made me feel behind, man. Like I just got a job at Panera, and I was pumped about it. I'm gonna be a cashier at Panera compared to international soccer and Major League Baseball. Like, jeez, I gotta find that thing that I can do, and I can be good at and be you know better than a lot of people at because I'm good at like pretty much everything like I can do stuff and be all right at it but I'm not great at anything I'm definitely not the best at anything even in the people that I know so compared to the whole country compared to the whole world it's ridiculous the talent levels that these people are at in just doing everyday things even so really this video was just me kind of realizing that I'm bad at stuff and not very good at anything. But, you know, it's not that sad. I'm not depressed about it or anything. I just got to find my, my niche or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah, going back to last week's video, though, I 
Well, I'd like to congratulate Caleb and Mandy on their wedding, but you did not make anything. You did not complete the challenge I set forth for you. So that needs to happen by Friday, and if it does not happen by Friday, I just might have to issue out a punishment to you, my friend. So, Dennis, this is my video. I don't even know what I want you to get out of it, but it's okay. I'll see you on Friday. It's time to have breakfast. Uh, yeah, and it's reckless.